Okay, everyone. Continue to pray for my health and pain. Um, my headaches, I've been dealing with sinuses or something. Our finances, our water situation, demon is joints. Pray for um, I think that's it. If you have prayer, let me know. Letting go and trusting God, 180 devotions for life's tough decisions by Pamela L. McQuaid. Time to trust. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14, 27. Decision making has its scary days. Large life changing choices often make us feel as if we're poking into a dark cave. We can't see into the future to know for certain that this is the best for us, our families, and our communities. How do we know we are on the right track? Often we simply feel a sense of God's peace. We've prayed, counseled with others, thought of all the issues that might face us. We've done our best. It can only rest in the hope that this is the place God wants us to be in right now. So we move forward in faith, asking God to show us if we're headed in the wrong direction. God's peace can be a hard one thing. It may not come overnight, and as we seek the peace that passes all understanding, we may have sleepless nights wondering if we've made a mistake. All the while, we have prayed, asking God to show us the right direction. Now is the time to trust God, knowing that he communicates with us and wants us to make wise choices. Simply putting our futures in his hands and trusting that he will lead us in the right way is more, worth more than all the worrying we could do. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your Thursday, and God bless.